Okay. So, how <coughs> how is the weather today? <laughs> huh? What is it? Cold. Everyone says cold. No other words? Shivery. Freezing. Huh? What did you say? Chilling. <laughs> Chilling means. Look like ya. Chili. Ah. Chile. Chile is in Siberia. Look. These words we use in English. Nippy. Nippy. Chili. Bitter. Freezing. Biting. We use these words, not just cold. Nip is in a nip, in a dirwa, nip. Nip is like this, like a nip, nip, nip. Because the, the cold nips you. We say it's nippy. Nippy means not very cold, but quite cold, nippy. Chili is a word that can mean also not too cold, but quite cold. Chili, to chill. Chill means to make cold, right? You know, when you, when you put something in the fridge, you're chilling it. You're chilling a drink. Chill drinks. Chill. Sometimes chill means when you are very frightened. You get this feeling up, up your back. You ever get this? Well, maybe you're Tibetan, so can look what you it. But sometimes, you know, sometimes if you're watching a film, oh, you go like this. You say, a chill went through my spine. A chill. You feel, inside you feel cold. Something, you have, if you have some very bad news, you say a chill. But chili is only for weather. Chili it. It's very cold today, very chilly. Ah, oh, chilly, chill, good word. Bitter. Actually, bitter means kyumo, uh, ra. But no, not here, not here. Bitter can mean kyumo, but here is bitter. So it's bitter. The wind, bitter is, I mean, not sweet, huh? The sun is sweet, right? The sun is nice and sweet and friendly, and the cold is, oh, it's bitter. So we say bitter, or bitterly cold, we say, bitterly cold. Freezing. Tang, when it's only freezing, maru, freezing is an ice, but we say, oh, it's freezing. So when it's hot, we say boiling. Boiling, maru, we call this uh, exaggeration. Oh, it's freezing, freezing, like this, freezing. Biting, you use biting, so the, the, the cold, it bites you. Oh, it's biting today. So many words. One meaning, many words. Please remember, to try and not, not just cold, there's many words. Look at this, very quickly, very quickly. Look at these words on the left. What a lovely surprise. Thanks a lot. Many thanks. I can never repay you. I'm extremely grateful. How kind. Oh, you shouldn't have. Ta. On the right. Please convey our thanks to Tashi or Nima. We would like to acknowledge our thanks to Tashi. And in conclusion, a word of thanks to Tashi. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude to Tashi. It was most kind of you to do this for me. I would like you to know I, how grateful I am for doing this. I am most obliged. That's how I did two more doing Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They, had, this is, they all have the same meaning in common. Remember, two more. They all have the same. Difference is neck up, neck up, neck up, left. On the left side, mostly kake. Right side, yigi. What a lovely surprise. If someone gives you a present. Oh, what a lovely surprise. 
Kasam yine mene kanşe yine ya. We say it. Wow. What a lovely surprise. Oh, thank you so much. What a lovely surprise. Thanks a lot. Sometimes we say thanks a million. Tuchiche saya. Thanks a million. We say thanks a lot. Ah, thank, thanks a lot, mate. Sometimes we say thanks a lot to mean opposite. Gagamares, oh, thanks a lot. Someone has given me a work to do. Oh, no. Oh, thanks a lot. But we say thanks a lot, opposite meaning. But from the tone of voice, you can understand. I can never repay you. Someone gives you something big. Maybe they save your life. Maybe they have helped you by giving you some money. Oh, I can never repay you. Thank you so much. I'm extremely grateful. I'm very grateful. How kind. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have done this. You should have done this. But in consequence, you say, oh, you shouldn't have done this. Oh, no, 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 I'm not necessary. You shouldn't have. But you don't have to say anything afterwards. You just say, you shouldn't have. That's enough. Not, you shouldn't have done this. Oh, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Ah, gogumare, da, da, da. Da is um, actually, yulke. in England, in some parts of England, they say, ta very much, ta. You can use this if, if, like, it's very, very, very formal between friends. So if I say, can you give me that pen, or ta, and you say, ta, just like that, ta. You can say that. We say this, ta means thank you. But we don't say thank you. Yeah, we don't say thank you like come. Um, yeah, Indians and uh, they never say thank you, right? You when you go in a shop or a chai shop, you buy something. They never, nobody ever says thank you. <laughs> it's okay. It's good. I like this. But in England, you say thank you every single time you do something. Oh, thank you, thank you, th and many more than thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's not necessary. This this is a uh, how you say custom. Luxo mato. <laughs> but we say this, ta, ta, or ta, you can say this. Or something you can just say, great, or cheers, 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 you know, cheers, cheers, ah, oh, cheers, ta, or cheers, you know. When in, on, in England, when you get off the bus, when you get off the bus, you all say to the driver, thanks, mate, we always thank the driver. They're nice, right? Yeah, we are it. We say, thank you. Right. We always say, ta, always say, ta, mate. Mate means friend, right? Ta, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. We say, you know. They yeah, are it. I like this. Some years ago, when, uh, when the plane lands, everyone on the plane, they clap. They're, they're clapping the pilot. Now nobody claps. <laughs> But they use the clap. They thank you. If without him we could, you know. <laughs> then on the right is, is, is this is letters. You get it. Please convey. Convey is in a carry, give. You're asking someone to thank somebody else. We would like to acknowledge. Acknowledge means to publicly say. You know this word acknowledge? Yeah? Oh, you need this acknowledge. When you translate your first book, in the beginning you have one section called acknowledgements. These are all the people you are thanking for helping. You know, thank you to this, thank you, you know, thank you to this Lama or this Rinpoche, you know. This is called acknowledging. Acknowledging means to say publicly. If you made a mistake, you, you say, I, and you say, I made a mistake, I'm sorry. You are acknowledging. Knowledge and a note of Knowledge and a shi, shi. I know, I, I know, and I'm saying. You acknowledge your thanks, you can acknowledge a mistake, you can acknowledge many things. And in conclusion, and inclusion, and finally, a word of thanks. A word and a sik chik mare. A word and a sik kashe. Now I'm going to say some words. A few words. Of thanks, a word of thanks is expression, a word of thanks, okay?
Finally, I would like to express my gratitude. It was most kind of you. I would like you to know I am most grateful. I am most obliged. Obliged means I am in your debt. I owe you something. To be obliged. You do something for me, I must do something for you. I am obliged to you. Okay? Obliged means like Goba. Uh, I have obligation. Ding obligation. Did my duty, my obligation. I have obligation to you. Like duty. Legain. You think I can get legain there? This is my obligation. I am obliged. Right. So we use this a lot. We say, oh, thank you. Much obliged. Much obliged or most obliged. Much. We say mostly much obliged. Thank you very much. Okay. So thank you. To your chair. I'm much obliged to you for listening. <laughs> now we're going to have a quick look at the comma. If you want a copy of um, this thank you, then ask Pambala. And I want to look at the comma very quickly. Again, this is three pages long. If you want a copy, then ask Pambala for a copy. Uh, we will not, we'll go through very quickly because otherwise it takes a long time. As I said before, the comma is very small but very powerful. Ah, just the one little mark. But as uh, very useful. Most people think a comma means pause. Pause, you know. Pause, ra. Most people think that. But it does mean that. But it's more than that. And so, contrary to popular belief, popular beliefs in a yonda, me manche, me manche ki kelen se ne pause de dunda karere se na, or po, mare. Me sama ki kelen, konso, koma ki dunda karere se na, or pause re. Or de mare es, de contrary, contrary, contrary se na kare. Gyalwaroa. Tumba. Contrary to popular belief, this is an expression we use a lot. Commas don't just signify pauses. In fact, in fact means there are precise rules. Precise in a how you say ship ship exact ah exact rules that govern, that that dis- decide, determine how to use this. When followed, if you follow these rules, comma, when you follow these rules, then you have a, a, a groundwork. Ground is, how you say, mashi, shi, shi, je, mashi. And then you can build on, the, you know, they delay the groundwork for clear communication. Munere. If you have proper punctuation, everybody understands. The groundwork. Groundwork, you know, just when you build a house, first you have to, like they're digging this road up in, uh, what's that place called? Pandip- Pandipur. Huh? Pandipur. Pandipur. This is the gra- they dig up, the, first this is the groundwork. Then on top, they whatever they build, I don't know. But this is groundwork. Groundwork means tangbo, lega jayadi, preparation, this groundwork. They lay, these rules lay, 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 okay. So we've compiled a list of all the times where you need the mighty comma. Mighty, this is uh, how you say in Tibetan. Um, it's playing. Mighty, mighty means chung chung re in a wang chen bo re. So there are, actually there are 13. But you don't need all of them. And, you know, some of them, some people would disagree, so, but just generally speaking, there are these. Are, this is a good list. So, if you have a sentence and you have the word "and" or "but" or or, or, or whatever in front of, in the middle, and if it uh, is a "and" and "but," these are called conjunctions, right? And I think in Tibetan you say "che," "rong wangi che," "shen wangi che," a conjunction, okay? And they coordinate. They, right. And they uh, coordinate two things. 
if they if they co coordinate two sentences, two independent clauses, independent clause do it. Um, independent clause, then you need an and. An independent clause is a, is a clause which has a subject and a verb and can stand on its own, you know, right? I went to the chai shop, chik chai. I had a cup of tea, chik chai. These are two independent clauses. So I went to the chai shop, comma, and I had a cup of tea. There you need comma. If you say, I went to the chai shop and had a cup of tea, no comma. Because first one, independent clause, I went to the chai shop. But second one, and had, subject mindua, I mindu. So you don't need comma there. I went to the chai shop, comma, and I had a cup of tea, and I talked to my friends, and I, 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 I. The comma gugudu. Subject mena, I went to the chai shop and had a cup of tea, comma gugu mindu. So like that. Use a comma before any coordinating conjunction that links to independent clauses. For example, I went running, comma, and I saw a duck. The sentence is Tez Kenzare, that came in Ari Kenzare. I went running. What does that mean? What's the difference between I ran and I went running? What's it? Is there any difference? I shopped, I went shopping. Yeah. I went swimming, I swam. Is there a difference? There's difference. Absolutely there's difference. Yes, but you don't know what it is. <laughs> I went running is that I went for this particular action of, uh, what do we say, jogging. You know, this you jog where you've got your, your iPhone on you and listening and you're very smart and you're, you're drinking and there's, a, there's jogging. This is called, I went running. You know. So if you say, I went shopping, that means I went out, like we went yesterday, I went shopping. Why did I went out? Why? F for one hour, two hours, for one purpose to buy things. Nobjagaga. I went shopping. I shopped in a It's different, right? So I went running. I went shopping. I went swimming. I went walking. Like this. You can use this. I went shopping. I went running. And, comma, I saw a duck. So, independent clause is a unit of grammatical organization that includes both subject and a verb and can stand on its own, suktuba, on its own as a sentence. In the previous example, I went running and I saw a duck are both independent clauses and and is the coordinating conjunction that connects them. Therefore, consequently, comma, we need a comma. Consequently, so now, jesan, de la tene, or consequently, therefore, to put it, we need a comma. If we were to eliminate the second I from that example, the second clause would lack a subject. There would be no subject. Therefore, it's not a clause. In that case, it would not need a comma. I went running and saw a duck. The Google might. Okay? That's the first one. The little It's not so complicated. Huh? Um, the second one, a little more comp uh, If you have a dependent clause, I went running is an independent clause. When I went running is dependent. Why? Because it's not finished. When I went running, and, and, it's not finished. Ah, you need something. So it's dependent. When I went running, if I went running, as I went running, while I went running, comma, I saw a duck. You need the comma there. Right? Like that. Um, if it's at the beginning, if it's at the end, you don't need it. I saw a duck when I went running. When I, especially if you use if, it's very important. If you boil water, if you heat water, comma, it boils, right? If you go to India, comma, be careful. <laughs> if you do this, this will happen, right? Right, there are. Hmm. If you perform virtue, you will be happy in the next life or something like that. Uh, always a comma. In, in Tibetan, there's a lot of, we call it if conditional sentence, right? right? 
if you break your vows, comma, you will suffer in the next life. If you practice giving, comma, you will gain wealth. If you protect your morality, comma, you will gain happiness. Like this. Always a comma after dependent clause. Yeah. Uh, a dependent clause is a grammatical unit that contains both subject and object but cannot stand on its own when I went running. Commas always follow these clauses at the start of a sentence. If a dependent clause ends the sentence, comma, however, comma, it no longer requires a comma. Da -da 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 -da. Mm. Okay. Then, I think all about it. Use commas to offset the positives from the rest of the sentence. <laughs> offset means to set like this, set off. Make slightly, take out. Take out is offset. And a positive is something that is... Um, uh, a positive... App means uh, to, to place next to, right? A positive. App means near. Posit means to put, to put near to, right? And a positive. You don't need this word. It's a grammatical word. You don't need it. Just forget it. Okay. A positives are synonyms for a juxtaposed. Juxtaposed means placed in the middle. Word or phrase. For example, while running, comma, because that is dependent clause. While running, comma, I saw a mallard. Mallard karadesana is a kind of duck. Mallard is little. Jagala yosomare. In England we have mallard. It's yeah, doesn't matter what it is. While running, I saw a mallard, a kind of duck. You could say, while running, I saw a mallard, comma, which is a kind of duck. Chikbare. Don't know chikbare. This is very common in, in, in Tibetan translation. And I think we had this yesterday. For example, if I said, um, uh, uh, yesterday I went out with Pemba, comma, a monk, or Pemba, a monk, comma, is da 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 da. So in, in Tibetan you would just say, I don't know, Ravjung Pemba or Chaba Pemba or Gendumba Pemba, like that. But in English you have to say, co uh, have to use a comma, all right? You know? I went out with a, I went yesterday, I saw this monk, comma, Pemba, comma, like this. Right? And in Tibetan, this is very common because often in Tibetan you have all these words, and they all they all describe each other. And in English, it's a nightmare trying to uh, translate sometimes. But you can use this. You can use this comma, or you can say which is yeah. No. So uh, you can say dirwa. Hmm. Karisa. Rinchen milu. Amare. Re, Sangbo Ten, Rinshin Milu, D, this good basis, comma, precious human body, comma, is, you could use that, you know, something like that. Whenever you see this in Tibetan, all these things can, uh, uh, mm. so, Gewa, uh, Gewa, Dewa Gyo, or Dewa Gyo, Gewa, Dewa, Dewa Gyo, Gewa, Dewa Gyo, Gewa, Gewa, Dewa Gyo, Virtue, comma, the cause of happiness, comma, mm -hmm. yeah. so like that. Yeah, that is right. So, while running, I saw a malaka. A kind of duck is a, the opposite. It gives more information about what is a mallard. If the appositive occurs in the middle of the sentence, both sides need comma. For example, a mallard, comma, a kind of duck, comma, attacked me. A mallard, when you say a mallard attacked you, a mallard is chung chung. A mallard attack is chung chung. When you turn a mallard, a goose will attack you, goose. You know goose? A chung chung. You know, what is goose in Tibetan? <laughs> Swan? Swan? 
Carbodier. Carbodier, white. A Swiss a swan. See, we have names for every single bird. Every single bird we have names for. In Tibet, and you, you, or maybe you don't. You have, like these birds around here. Yeah. You've seen these birds. They're always the little birds, little brown ones. I said to uh, Jay Garfield, what's the name? He said, these are called Seven Sisters. Seven Sisters. Because there are always seven of them. Uh, they're not true, there's not seven, but <laughs> as Indians say there are always seven. So they're called seven sisters. Mm. So like this. We have names for all the stars, all the planets, every plant, every tree, every fish, every animal, every insect, everything is names. I don't know these names. Nobody knows everything. English is impossible. Nobody knows every English word. So, you know. So, you know, you have to look in dictionary. Malad I know. But other birds, you know. My wife, she knows names of all the birds. She's had, she's, you know, she, uh, bird watching. She likes bird watching. Oh, this, this bird, this big, big t you know, this yellow hammer, this is a sparrow, this is a thrush, this is a blackbird, this is a golden eagle. There's, Golden Eagle Mare, Golden Eagle Tongyo Mare. But there's all these different birds. We know the names of all of them. I have some people, they know the names of every bird. Ra. The color penguin, did No, no, no. That it. Okay, a kind of duck. Um, okay, now, it says here, Exception, mixe yarva. Um, we had this yesterday. If if the duck is, uh, if the information is necessary, information, not extra but necessary, then you don't use comma. You use that. The duck that attacked me, not which. Then there's no comma. Okay, which and that. Um. That did it. Okay, number five, this is useful. If at the beginning of a sentence you have an adverb, finally, therefore, consequently, initially, at last, in the beginning, then you must have comma. Finally, comma, I went running. Unsurprisingly, comma, I saw a duck. Strangely enough, I saw a duck. Yeah? There you have to have comma. Any word like that at the beginning of the sentence is comma. However, therefore, furthermore, all these have comma. Uh, also, insert a comma when however starts a sentence. On the other hand, further, yeah, yeah. Okay. When you use however, these days, we like to put however in the middle of the sentence, not at the beginning. Okay? However means but, right? However, yeah, yeah. Me usually means but. Um, um, uh, 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 yesterday I went shopping to buy some earmuffs. However, I couldn't find any. You don't need to understand that. Yesterday I went shopping to buy something, full stop. However, I was unable to find any. That's okay. But what we prefer is. Yesterday I went shopping. I was, however, unable to find any. Put in the middle. Okay? It's better that way. It's more... I'm telling you, it's much better that way. Put in the middle of the sentence, right? Not at the beginning. You can put in the beginning... I, okay, I put it in the beginning a lot. But in Tibetan, there's a lot of sentences ends in Kyang or yang, rua. You know, so, and sometimes you can say but, and sometimes you can say however. If you say however, put however in the middle, not at the beginning. The yagare. Much, much better in English. Hmm. Starting a sentence with however, however, see like here, is discouraged by many careful. Oh, did Jago Mare, did Jago Mare, did Jago Mare. A better method would be used to use, however, within, inside. 
the sentence. After the phrase you want to negate. Yeah. I was, however, unable to find you. Yeah. Um, so, l like that, you know, if, you know, uh, if you say, like, something, um, if you don't keep your vows, you, yeah, you, if you don't keep your vows, you may practice Tantra, however, you will never attain any uh, Siddhi. Then you can put uh, a Siddha, right? a Siddhi, Siddhi. If you don't keep your vows, you may practice Tantra. You will not, however, gain any city. City. City Hagosun. Tuba. Tuba. Mudup. Mudup. So put in the middle. Right. It's much better. Yeah. After, when you see Kyang in Tibet, Yang, you know, put in the, in the middle. Uh, yeah. So, so like that. You know, in, in the Bodhicheva Tara it says, those who have, those who practice the engaged bodhicitta, juksim, those who practice the engaged bodhicitta, they may be sleeping, they may be drunk. However, they will always continue to gain a constant stream of merit. Chinchu yalorwa. Sik ta ta ha nga jengke mendo. Yana ta kanshe juksim yana any rangi ni on the rasi tone any sunam mutu mutu sagiores. Those who have the engaged body chitta, if they may be drunk, they may be sleeping, they will, however, continue to gather, accumulate a constant stream of merit. After the verb, they will continue to gather, however, oh, you can put it there. They will, however, continue to gather merit. They will, con they will continue to gather, however, merit. Mm. Yeah, best to put it after the verb, but you know, you can put it in the middle of the sentence. Uh, um, six is le labore. If you're quoting someone, lung yana. If it's lung, from a uh, uh, lung. If it is a um, in the same line, then you put comma. Da, like uh, Acharya Nagarjuna says, comma, quote, <coughs> da, 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 like this. Like this. You put comma. If, however, it is a, uh, a long quote, or if it is a, a sikche, a verse, then you put colon, not comma, colon. And then after the colon, then you put in separate underneath. We'll look at that later. And then uh, address. Yeah, yeah. I work at 257 Park Avenue. Avenue is full stop because Av is short for Avenue. Remember this Avenue of Avenue of Injury, Nobego, <laughs> Avenue. I work at two five seven Park Avenue South, comma New York, comma New York State, comma da 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 da. Cleveland, Ohio is a great city. Cleveland, which is in Ohio, is it? You put comma. And then for dates, March the fifteenth. Comma, 2013, comma. There you put comma. Uh, da, da, uh, yeah, if you start a sentence with yes or no, comma. Yes, I saw a duck. No, it didn't bite me. Comma, comma, comma. Then, uh, comma, did. Uh, use a comma. Oh, yeah, if you're talking to say, if it, you, you know, Christina, is that article up yet? Up means up on the uh, newspaper. So, you know, when, when Buddha says in uh, uh, Sutra, Shariputra, what do you think? Are phenomena empty or not? Or something, I don't know what he said. <laughs> Shariputra, comma. What do you think? You know, Avarokitesvara, comma. You know, or monks, Comma. There are four da da da. After that, you must put comma. 
If you have two or three or four adjectives, comma. I saw a big mean duck. Mean is not a Huh? Yeah, dukcha. Bad. Mean is usually means subo, uh, subo uh, uh, or a little bit dangerous. Shanant is to and nyanga yena. Oh, it is very mean. Sometimes means na lakpatambo. Sometimes means that. Ah, serna sabo. But normally in colloquial, mean means me semba dukcha re. Mean yambare yakpo mare. That was mean. You know, if you if you cruel. If you there's a beggar on the street and you you say here, then you take it away. You say no no no. That was really really mean, nasty. Di yakpo mare tukchare esa mean. Please remember this. It's a very good word. I saw a big mean duck. There's comma because two adjectives, separate adjectives. If you say. I saw a mean big duck. Check what it mean, comma big duck. Big means you can. You must put comma in between the two. Da 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 304,687. You start from the back. One, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. Some people, I think Indians, they have a different system, but this is the Wa system. When you do numbers, after every three. But start from the back, not from the front. From the back. Right? So the first one you can have is 1,000. With, with hundreds, there's no comma. 999, no comma. 1,000 is 1, comma, 1, 2, 3, 0. That is on. No could do it. There's there's no could do something. So if you want a copy of this, it's very useful. You don't have to read it. You can just keep it, and then maybe when you can you can look at it. Then Pemba, you can ask Pemba to do. Uh, you want or you have? Okay. Mm. So let's look at Lamin Chema. We can finish this, then we can do some, you can do some translation on your own. <coughs> Where have we reached? Where are we up to? Huh? Kabbalism. Huh? I can't hear you. What? Tara nirve. Dela tara nile rapa mitaba chiwa la nirve. Dela tara nile ta rapa mitak pasena chiwa la michi nyamba. Number Toba Ni, D. Nubagore. We finish this? Lapsason. Huh? Um, Dere, of these two, uh, the conception is twofold. Twofold means. Two-fold means there are two divisions, right? Two, we put the word two-fold, three-fold, four-fold, five-fold. You can put the word fold on the end. Con conception means there are, two, there are two divisions. This conception has two divisions. This conception is two-fold. Don't you worry. This conception has two parts, or, or two types, if you like. Two types it is two-fold. And then you put colon. Not comma here, colon. Because now you're going to say, what are these two? In Tibetan it says, Dela Tarani Le. Okay. Then it says, of these two, of these two, Deni Le. Of, I was helping someone, where is he? Oh, I have to call him class Nibare. 
you know, I was someone was asking me about something, and uh, I said, "You say um, of these, you know, do you think you're gay? Are there of these eight? Do you think you're gay? Are there she the shadan jay? Are there she shadan jay? Are there Danny le Danny Mare? Do you think you're gay? Do you think you're gay? Are there do you think you're gay? None there." And he says you should say among. Okay, but normally we say of. Of does not mean gi, you know. You can, this is the pen of Gavin. That's okay, kagare. Of these two means de nigi nangnes, or de nigi nangnes, koko mindoe. De, ah, de ni le, de ni le. This le you can translate here as of. It's okay. Of. Of these two. Among, among, you can't say. Among is nila manga gugudua. Sum shingada among. But you can say of, anytime. Yeah? Of the student, there are 25 students in the class. Of these 25, this one is the best. You know, of. Please. So here is of these two. Right? Of these two, um, in the case of your course impermanence, in case of your, did it Google Mare? You don't need this. Um, uh, here, you can use this. In the case of these two, course impermanence, Rapa me takpa, comma, here you can use this comma, comma, your death, comma. Remember, this is an a positive. When we did the comma, this is an a positive. Chiwa me takpa, Rapa me takpa, karere sene chiwa that's the same. So you can say here, of these two, I don't think in the case of your, you did the Gogomare, of these two, course imper impermanence, which is your death, or course impermanence, comma, your death, comma. Okay? Both are possible there. In Tibetan, you see, Jerubashe, he says, he just says like this, he goes, Deni le, Rapa mitakba, Chiwa. Okay, in English, Rapa mi takpa, comma, chiwa, comma. You need to get this. I know this sounds very easy, but when I look at it, I see so many mistakes. This, you know, so like this. Ra. Mm. So of these two, rough or coarse impermanence, which is your death, um, the avenue of injury, karadeyasana, is the thought I will not die. After thought is comma. Because introducing this, when we say, when you have the word nyampa, it's like a direct thinking. You know, I will not die. Re. Re. Michiba. Ngashigamesa. Ngashigamare. If you don't want to use quotes, then you can say, is thinking that you will not die. That's okay. But usually the difference between sampa and nyampa. Sampa is just thinking, thinking that you will not die. If you put nyam is, I will not die. Then you, it's direct, direct speech, thought, direct thought. So you put quotes, thinking, I will not die. This is avenue of injury. Never go. Ah, again, number go avenues, and I don't know avenue or why they have. I don't know. It's, it's way to harm, or you know, it's better. You know, that kind of um, then Dila Yang Tasu Tar Tasu Tar Chiwashi on Yamba Ni Kuna Yak Yang Nima Redeshin Dering Michi. <laughs> I will not die today, did it? Uh, I will you think yes, death will come. But not today. Ah. Mm. Tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. So, not today. <laughs> so, 
Tazu tar. Tazu tazu na kare. Tazu tazu means what? Tazu tar. Tazu tar. What does that mean? Tazu tar means at the end of tazu from now on. Ah. Tazu tar. Tar means end. Marve. Tazu. So you should know this. Your, your, you know, this is your language, not mine. Um, so it says, everyone has the idea that death will come later at the end. So <clears throat> he says, for example, they've translated everyone, kun la yus, kun la yu means everyone has the idea. <clears throat> Idea is a translation of nyamba. So everyone has the idea. Means I, idea is doesn't mean uh, uh, idea. Him just means thinking. Idea. You could just say everyone knows. Everyone thinks. Everyone has the idea. Don't that check what it? Everyone has the idea that death will come later at the end. It sounds a bit strange. Later at the end is tazutar. Tama, I think finally death will come. Finally, everyone knows that death will come finally. This is the meaning. Wow. Everyone knows. So, is <coughs> everyone has the idea, that's okay, has the idea, everyone knows, everyone thinks that death will come. Then, then, younger it. However, comma, now, if you put however in the middle of the sentence, however, with each passing day, people think I will not die today. If you put however in the middle of the sentence, where would you put it? Where would you put however? <coughs> huh? With each passing day, however, yes, yes, good. With each passing day, comma, however, comma, people think, ah, do it. So each passing day is in the Korean. Ah, nima reresin. So <coughs> each passing day, you can just say each day, each passing day, passing is in chimba ra, deba, doa, chimba, deba re, ah, ah, do chimba. With each day passing, with each passing day, nima re 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 shin, daringa shigumaresa. <clears throat> with each passing day, people think, um, I will not die. During my chi, I ask twice, during my chi, during my chi, he says twice, right? I will not die today, I will not die today, each day, I will, each day, I will not die today, I will not, and tomorrow, I will not die today, the next day, I will not die today, and then one day, thus. <laughs> I will not die today. Right, <laughs> 99% is correct, but 0.1% is not correct, right? Oh, uh, zimba. Now, le michiwa chok zimba. Le, the mind, michiwa chok zimbas. So, they cling to this thought mm, until the moment of death. Le mi chi wa chok zimba ni chika chikama 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 chila jungi ores. So le is mind. Mi chi wa chok zimba chok zimba chok zimba. This is okay. Cling. Yes. The other day we I said how you translate zimba. Usually hold, but chok zimba, I hold, you know. You can say cling. Here's okay, cling, grasp. Uh, grasp not it. Cling is okay. Hold is also good. Yeah. Le, the mind, the mind is the subject of the sentence, is the mind. But here they has, have not translated the translated because it's... um. It's already in the previous sentence. People think, I will not die, I will not die, 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 comma, clinging to this thought. 
So he, they have not translated the word le or lo. Why? Because it's already in the word think. In the Tibetan it says the mind, the mind holds to this. The mind holds to this position of I will not die. And this chikama, you know chikama? The point of death, we say, the point, chikama. Just at the point, the, is the point of death? Denyembo yelama jebar. Denyembo yelama jebar. Nene, deta bawe lo de dribnas. Sedila debe lo kene. Nene, de ringla de dandi gusho she. Sedi samgi dewa. Sewa tap bashi la sem sem nes. That Jerem is in a long sentence, right? Very difficult, you know, to make up. So, de nyembo. Nyembo means antidote or remedy. Think about it. Um, remedy, right? So English it says uh, in Tibetan it says de nyembo la yima ma jebar. Nima Jebas Ane Deta Bogi Lo De Dribnas In English they have put Deta Bogi Lo De Dribnas They put this first They put this first That's okay If you are obstructed by such an attitude Deta Bogi Lo Here translate Lo as attitude Okay It's okay Or you can say it thought Or thinking You know Thought is one, thinking is general, okay? Thinking is not a, a verb, thinking is a noun. If you are obstructed by this thinking, thinking means again and again and again, attitude, thinking, obstructed, diba, diba. If you are obstructed by, or obstructed by such, um, here he's translated as such an attitude, remember? Detabu or denja. Denja, data boy attitude. If you are obstructed by, and do, and do not bring this remedy to mind. There, no comma. Why? Because do not bring is not is is dependent clause. If it says and you do not bring, then you would need a comma. But there's no comma here. And do not bring its remedy to mind. Comma, because you start with if. Right, the whole thing is a de is a dependent clause. If you are obstructed by such an attitude and do not bring its remedy to mind, comma. So, bring its remedy to mind is in Tibetan. Yilama jeba. Okay, that's good. Yilama jeba to bring to mind. Bring to mind actually means like uh, jamba. You know, if you do not bring to mind, if you do not recall, if you do not. Recollect, yila chaba. Bring to mind is good. You can use this. Something it means maybe something is not there. Then suddenly you bring to mind. For example, if you're out drinking and having a good time, then suddenly you think, oh, it's not good. I should not be there. You bring it to mind. Chaba chaba, chaba. Yila chaba. Yila chaba. So, um. In this case, as I said, you should start, in English, we like to start with the word if first. So if you put first, right? If you are obstructed by such an attitude and do not bring its remedy to mind. In Tibetan, it's got de nyembo yilama jepar. Now, this ladun, ladun is not always translated with and, but it really is a denigi ladun, you know? So... It says, what you could do, if you want to be more correct, you say, if you are obstructed by this attitude, not bringing, then you make it this ladun, not bringing its remedy to mind, you can do that. That's more correct. Not bringing, and not more correct, more, um, more literal. Yeah. Otherwise, in English, you can't really start with 
You can't start with that. You have to start with the if. In English. And in Tibetan you can put that last, but in English you must put it first. Right. Dib, dib. Dib is word I mean like this, isn't it? Sometimes dib is translated as obscure. Obscuration. You know? Nyundib. Shedib. Dibba ni yorwa. Legi dibba. Karmic obscuration. Or obstruction is usually barche. Barche. Bache is usually obstruction. But I don't think it matters, you know. Jiba Jiba is like this, Jiba. Uh, and Bache also like this. So I think the same. Some people say obstruction, hindrance, obscuration. Hindrance is usually gek. Gek re gektor. Gek gek is hindrance. Bache obstruction and driba obscuration. But, you know, that can't you? It's okay. It's okay. Usually obstruction, if you, if you try to go to Varanasi, they are building this, they're making this road, huh? The road is closed. This is an obstruction. It's obstruction. It's, it's a hindrance. A hindrance because it takes more time, so it's a hindrance. Yeah. It's not obscuration. No, no. It's not an obscuration. Obscuration means like this, you know, I can't see. Obstruction means something stops you. So that's why I think obstruction is usually barche. Because barche stops you, right? If, you, if you're practicing dharma and suddenly you get sick, and then the lama says, it's, abs- it's stopping you from practicing, then it's obstruction. Obstruction, you know. Marewe. This obstruction, but sometimes you know if you get uh, you get this uh, illness called jiba, you know, then the blood in the vein is stopped, right? This is obstruction, but it's translated as jiba, you know. Not anymore. So, obstruction, hindrance, obscuration. Normally, obscuration is jiba, you know, leg jiba. And Nyumungi Diba, Seja Diba, Dire Diba, Ledan Dib, Ledib, Mare, Nyundib, Nyumundan Diba, Ni, afflictions and obscurations, normally. Barche, obstruction. Mm. Gek, oh, Gek, that kind, also obstruction, hindrance maybe, hindrance is better for Gek, Gektor, at the beginning of a Wang, the Lama does it Gektor, because there are all these. They make hindrance, they're hindrance. Yeah. <laughs> that is more. I don't know. Then, Yambo la Yelama Jebatet Velo de la Jibna, then, Se de la, Se de la Dubelo Kene, Se de la Ludubelo Kene. You will continue to think that you will remain in this life. Se de la Dubelo Kene. Oh, that, yeah. Se de la deba lo ke kenes. You will continue to think. Continue kawado. Mindua. Deba lo ke. Se de la deba lo ke. You will continue to think that you remain in this life. Nan kene de ring las. Oh, daring las, daring las. I don't understand why there is new paragraph here. <laughs> it's new paragraph, Marwe. It's not new paragraph, really. <laughs> it's not. Why new paragraph? Kenes. That is not new subject, Marwe. It's continuing. Then, as long as you have this attitude, daring las, daring la means. As long as you have this, daring, while you have this attitude. Okay? So, as long as, daring lasts, daring lasts, for, for that length of time, 
while you think I will stay in this life, I will stay in this life, I will not die today, I will not die today, as long as you have de ring las, then, um, then you think, you continue to think of only of how to achieve happiness and evade suffering in this life alone, thinking I need this and that. Um, Tibetan is didan di yes. This comes first. You can put here first if you want. Um, thinking, you will continually, uh, you will think, I need this and this, this and that. Um, continually think only of how to achieve happiness and evade suffering. Didan di gusso she se di samgi dewa druba da dunge sewa. Dewa druba da dunge sewa. To uh, achieve happiness, eva- evade. Selwa uh, means evade. Usually means to uh, you know evade. If you see something, if suffering is here, you go here. The suffering is here, you go there. That's evade. Evade. No. If ah, uh? if someone asks you a question, if a policeman asks you a question, and you don't give a, a, a straight answer. You say, you are evading the question. Evade. Actually, selva means to remove, huh? Remove. Evade means to avoid. Chikpare, evade. You will, uh, you will evade, the, uh, evade the suffering. Uh, you will continually think only, only do it. Bashik Kawadu. Are Bashik of how a top Bashik Sem Sem you'll you'll Sem Dan Sem 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 means continually think. You will continually think. You continually think, Ra. Only of how to achieve happiness and as great suffering in this life. In this life alone. Say did some last Dewa Drubata Tunya Sewa Tap Bashila Sem Sem ne thinking I need this, I need this, and I need that. We don't say this and this, we say this and that. Got it. Mm. Then it, you will not engage in religious practice because you do not think about things of great importance such as future lives, liberation, and omniscience. Mm. Okay. Okay. Number Chibalo Mikewes Chela Jukbelo Ker Mitewas Chiten Chima Dan Taba Chiten Chima is uh, uh, future lives, future lives, Tarba liberation, Tamse Kemba omniscience, Tamse Kemba La Sokbe, Dun Chembo. These are great things, things of great importance, comma, such as Dun Chembo. Things of great. Dern, this word turn is very difficult to translate. Sometimes turn means meaning, sometimes it means thing, sometimes significance. It can mean so many things. Here it's best to say matters, affairs, things, matters of great importance, affairs of great importance, things of great importance. They are important things. Important affairs. Tagas Marwa. They are important things. So such as then Jarawa Tabata Kanjanaso Dun Chambotala number number chaba law. Do not think about things. Number chaba is more than thinking. Number chaba the karate. Chapa. Chapa is examine, analyze, marabe. Analyze, think deeply. Here these translate as think about. Actually, it's more like analyze, examine. What about? Hmm. Hmm. Then you will look. Me kewe chela you will look. Kermitewas. Kermitewas na karere. Lo ke la mitewa. Mitewas na give. What about? Ah. Kemi Chukba. 
Huh? We're not engaged there. Me tell us and me chupa are where? Ah. Care. Me chupa are where? Lo. Chela chupa lo. Care me tell us. What does that mean? Huh? Not let. Uh, Mitewa. I won't allow you. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it stops you. Oh, did it, did it, did it, did it, Mitewa, it doesn't give you the opportunity. It stops you from the mind which engages in Dharma. Oh, did it. Chola jupe lo ker mitewas. It stops you from developing the mind of entering or engaging in Dharma. Now, what have they put here? You will not engage. It's more than that, huh? You will not engage. It's more like you will not be. It will not give you the opportunity, or it stops you from engaging. It stops you from developing the mind of engaging in dharma. Marve, more correct, is it? Marve. They've just put. You will not. You will not engage. This means. Chela mi juk, chela juk mares, but it's more than that. Chela juk pe lo ke mi tewa is a bit more than juk ra. Okay, now there's a you can go and have a. Uh,